I got this reference out of the comments, and as is always the case with Springer books these days, these new uh, prints, even though the printing quality is not the classic quality, these are very good books and they're printed in a quality that's good enough, but also makes the books very affordable so you can get them out of Amazon. So I really like that. So I forget how much I pay for this book, but it was something like $40, very affordable. Now, just to give you an idea of scale, this is actually a fairly big book uh, in size, and let's just compare it with Abbott, right? So this is actually, uh, yeah, a big book. The uh, print, the font is big. It's, it's a big font book, um, but also it's got a lot of pages. Um, so let's see, 400 plus, 460 something, 470 page book. Uh, I'll go briefly through the uh, table of contents. And also the preface is really well written. Um, as I read through, it's got that Abbott reading style, which makes it very easy to read. Uh, <clears throat> as the comment mentioned, it's got great figures. I mean, forget it. This book is like figure central. So the real numbers, um, then some topology, very similar to Baby Rudin, right? R, topology, chapter two, uh, then functions of a real val variable, function spaces, uh, multivariate calculus, and the best theory. So it, it's bing, bing, bing. It's co it covers the major aspects that a, an analysis course would cover. I believe it's a, a UC Berkeley book. Uh, and just reading through glancing, uh, and, and again, I have not read it because I'm not in my, currently I'm not in an analysis mode, I'm in a linear algebra mode, but still, I thought about not making the video and waiting until I do a revisit of analysis, but that could be years for now, from now, maybe never. So I just wanted to show that there is a book out there that luckily uh, has a lot of content at what I would call the baby rooting level, such as Abbott, but it has a little more, I believe, than Abbott cover, covers, and it's also very readable, and the figures. Figures are great. Uh, I mean, somebody who describes a dedic and cut with a figure has me at hello, and so I can't wait to read this some at some point. I may even read parts of this book just for fun, uh, because, of course, in my cycle, my linear cycle, it takes me a long time uh, to do a second round. I, I'm still very much in the first round, but as I read through the book, just uh, in a glancing sort of way, it's got bing, 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 you know, it's got all the things that you want uh, in a basic analysis book, very well explained, with lots of figures, uh, lots of examples, and it's got a ton of problems, which is really good. Now, it doesn't have any answers, but for this type of book, I don't think that really matters, uh, because a lot of the times what the, the problems are going to be are just proofs. It's a proof-based analysis book. So I don't think that detracts inner product spaces. Hello, linear algebra. Uh, cardinality, yeah. <clears throat> All your counter set stuff. Really great figures. Of course, this figure is in every analysis book. This, this is the whole counter counting business of comparing card cardinalities. So, but yeah, like like the re like the comment said, the the figures in this book are just fantastic. I mean, it's visualizing all right. I mean, this guy nails it when it comes to visualizing. Lots of problems, and I'm not going to go page by page by page, but I am showing a good chunk of the book. Uh, just because I want people to enjoy how good it is. And if somebody is interested in using this book, uh, definitely, I mean, if I had known about this book when I was going through my 17 months of analysis, I'm pretty sure I would have bumped off some other book in that list that I had, and this would have been one of the books that I covered uh, from beginning to end, for sure. Yeah, maybe it would have knocked off uh, TBB, Thompson Bruckner Bruckner. And all that time that I spent on TBB, I would have spent on this book. But, hey, hindsight is twenty twenty, And sometimes there are books that we don't know about uh, in, the, in this self-learning uh, amateur world that I'm in. Uh, 
but yeah, as, as you can see, I mean, you cannot see it because you're not reading what I'm reading, but it's very well written, really amenable, easy to read, great figures. It's got it all. Now, I, 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 did, I almost thought of doing a, a really serious comparison with Baby Rudin, but then I chickened out uh, just because that's a lot of work. So, but at right, right at this point today, in uh, you know, fall of 2024, I would say that the Along the Way of Baby Rudin Club is these two books, Abbott and Pew. Incredibly enough, they're both very affordable from Springer. Springer's doing something right. Thank you, gents. And of course, the book that I think someday would be great for somebody to write what I would, what I like to call a baby rooting for the 21st century. Somebody out there is going to do it. Maybe Pew will do it two, three, four ed editions from now. I think he's gotten the closest. But when I look through all the contents of Baby Rudin, I and, uh, and the parts that I've read for sure, I, I did not see some things in here that I know for a fact are in Baby Rudin. So I, I do think that Pew is not Baby Rudin for the 21st century. It's very close, very much along the way. But I, I would say a smaller font version of Pew with three or four more chapters that would really go deep the way Baby Rudin did, that would be it. 